Learning Objectives After completing this module, learners will be able to understand and explain that the earliest kind of printing technology was developed in China, Korea and Japan. Understand and describe how the technology reached Europe from China. Understand and analyze the impact of print revolution on the world. Understand and describe how innovations accelerated the pace of printing. Understand and describe the religious reforms and public debates triggered by modern printing. Understand and explain the new forms of publications and censorship of publications. The first printed books Hand printing was the earliest kind of print technology. It was developed in China, Korea and Japan. AD 594 onwards, books in China were printed by pressing paper. Against the inked surface of a woodblock, China remained an important producer of printed material for a long time. Till 16th century, printing was confined only to civil services, textbooks in China. But 17th century onwards, the use of print diversified. Merchants used it for trade information. People were reading all kinds of printed material like narratives, poems, autobiographies, literary masterpieces and romantic plays. Western printing techniques and mechanical presses were imported in China in the late 19th century. Shanghai was the main centre of the new print culture. It followed the Western style school. Hand printing was published, displaced by mechanical printing. Print in Japan Buddhist missionaries from China carried the technology of hand printing with them to Japan sometime around AD 768 to 770. The Buddhist Diamond Sutra, the oldest Japanese book, was printed in 868. It had six sheets of texts and woodcut illustrations. Pictures were also printed on textiles, playing cards and paper money. In the late 18th century, illustrated collections of painting, portraying urban cultures became popular in amongst the urban elite in Edo, called Tokyo later on. The libraries and bookstores overflowed with hand-printed material on various subjects like musicals, calculations, women, tea ceremony, flower arrangement, etiquette, cooking and famous places. Print comes to Europe Chinese paper reached Europe in the 11th century through the Silk Route. Italian explorer Marco Polo brought the technique of woodblock printing to Italy from China. The technique soon reached to other parts of Europe. The aristocrats and rich monastics, libraries preferred handwritten luxury editions on expensive vellum over printed books. European booksellers started exporting books to different countries. The growing demand for books could easily be met with woodblock printing. By early 15th century, woodblock printing was being put to various issues, including religious pictures in Europe. Gutenberg and the Printing Press The popularity of books required a faster and cheaper technology to meet the growing demand. This could be achieved by John Gutenberg's invention of the first known printing press in 1430s. Gutenberg, son of a merchant, had grown up a large agricultural estate where he had seen wine and olive presses. He used this knowledge to invent a printing machine. The olive press functioned as a printing machine and moulds were used to cast metal types for letters. By 1448, the machine took a usable shape. Bible was the first book printed by Gutenberg. The technique had limitations. Borders and illustrations had to be done in hand. 
yet more than 200 million printed books reached the European markets in the 16th century. Mechanical printing revolutionized the print world of the time. The Print Revolution and Its Impact A New Reading Public Printing press reduced the cost of printing. It created a new section in the society, the reading public. Buying and reading books was an elite domain so far. The commoners used to hear sacred texts, ballads, recitation and folk tales or watch a performance. Due to easy availability and affordable cost, people took to reading widely. This transition was difficult as literacy rate was low in the 20th century Europe. To reach the illiterate section, publishers brought out beautifully illustrated fables and ballads, which when read out, could be enjoyed by all. The society now comprised of the reading public and the hearing public. Religious debates and the fear of print Print facilitated circulation of ideas to masses and provided opportunities for debates and discussions. The orthodox section feared that printing could destroy the old order and spread irreligious thoughts. Not only religious authorities, even the monarchs, intellectuals, readers and artists opposed print. The Protestants' reformation in Christianity was strengthened by print culture. Religious reformer Martin Luther wrote and posted 95 theses against the practices and rituals of the Roman Church on the church door at Wittenberg. It was replicated to spread the idea which caused a division within the church and began the Protestant Reformation. Print and Dissent In the 16th century, Minocchio, a literate miller in Italy, reinterpreted Bible and formulated his view of God. The enraged Roman Catholic Church eventually executed him. It imposed tabs over publishers and booksellers and listed prohibited books from 1558. The Reading Mania In the 17th and 18th centuries, churches set up schools in villages carrying literacy to the lower rungs of the society. This improved the literacy rate and demand for books shot up. Printed literature now included almanacs or ritual calendars, ballads and folk tales, books solely for entertainment or chapbooks, pocket-sized books sold for a penny by peddlers. In France, bibliothèque bleu or low-price small books were printed on poor quality paper and bound in cheap blue covers. Newspapers, journals and books of various sizes, serving different purposes and interests, were being printed now. Works of scientist Isaac Newton and those of thinkers like Thomas Paine, Voltaire and Jean-Jacques Rousey got a wider readership because of printing. Tremble, therefore, tyrants of the world. By mid-18th century, Books became symbols of progress and enlightenment. It was believed that books could emancipate the society from despotism and tyranny and bring about a rule of reason and intellect. This thought dominated the works of Lucy Sebastian Mercier, an 18th century French novelist. Mercier proclaimed, Tremble therefore tyrants of the world, tremble before the virtual writer. Print Culture and the French Revolution Print culture is said to have created conditions leading to French Revolution. It popularized the ideas of the Enlightenment, thinkers like Voltaire and Rousey who favoured rule of reason and rationality rather than customs and traditions. They condemned the authority of churches and despotic rulers. The 1780s literature also censured the royalty of its morality. Awareness created by print encouraged a culture of dialogue and debate. The 19th Century Children, Women and Workers In 19th century, primary education for children became compulsory. 
it made children an important category of readers. Along with school textbooks, publishers now also focused on children's literature, including folklores and fairy tales. A collection of fairy tales by Grimm's brothers was published in 1812. Anything considered inappropriate for children was neither not published or was published with suitable alterations. Hence, at times, the print version differed slightly from the original folk tale. Women were emerging as readers as well as writers. Magazines for women targeted at etiquettes and housekeeping. Jane Austen, the Bronte sisters and George Eliot were popular women novelists. They portrayed women as strong-willed, independent personalities. Further innovations in 19th century, New Yorker Richard M. Ho modified the power-driven cylindrical press. It could now print 8,000 sheets per hour. It proved useful for newspaper printing. The offset machine, capable of printing six colors at a time, was developed in late 19th century. Electrically operated machines came into being in the 20th century. Automatic paper reels and photoelectric controls of the color register were also introduced. In 19th century, the concept of sterilized novels became popular. In 1920s, popular series were sold dirt cheap. India and the World of Print Manuscripts before the age of print Traditionally, Manuscripts in India were handwritten. They were copied on palm leaves or handmade paper in different languages. They also had some beautifully illustrated pages. To preserve, these would either be pressed between woods or sewn together. Despite being delicate and expensive, manuscripts were produced long after the introduction of print. In the primary schools in pre-colonial Bengal, teachers did not possess any manuscripts. They read out portions of manuscripts from memory and students noted them down. This way students became literate without reading any text. Print comes to India The Portuguese missionaries introduced printing press in the mid-16th century in Goa. By 1674, Jesuit priests had printed about 50 books in Konkani and Kanara. The Catholic priest printed the first Tamil book in 1579 in Cochin and the first Malayalam book in 1713. The Dutch Protestants missionaries had also printed some 32 translations of older works. James Augustus Hickey started editing the Bengal Gadget from 1780. Along with a variety of advertisements, he published gossips about the senior officials of the company in India. Warren Hastings, Governor-General of the time, persecuted him. Warren Hastings encouraged publication of officially sanctioned newspapers to protect the image of the colonial government. Towards the end of the 18th century, many Indians too ventured into publishing's Indian newspapers. Bengal Gadget, printed by Gangadhar Bhattacharya, was the first amongst the Indian newspapers. Religious Reform and Public Debates In the early 19th century, social and religious reformers and orthodox Hindus often locked horns over issues like widow immolation, monotheism, brahmanical priesthood and idolatry. In Bengal, tracts and newspapers published in spoken languages spread their ideas. While Ram Mohan Roy published the Sambad Ka Mudi from 1821, the Samachar Chandrika became the mouthpiece of Hindu orthodoxy. Two Persian newspapers, Jami Jahan Nama and Shamshul Akbar, and Gujarati newspapers, the Bombay Samachar, made appearance in 1822. 
Ulamas in North India tried to preserve Muslim culture by printing translations of their religious scriptures. The Deoband Seminary, founded in 1867, explained Islamic doctrines and issued fatwas, instructing Muslims how to conduct themselves. Urdu print was used by Muslim sections and seminaries to increase their following. Tulsi Ramayan was first printed in Calcutta in 1810. Soon its cheaper lithographic editions were also printed. Lucknow's Naval Kishore Press and Bombay's Sri Venkateshwar Press printed portable forms of scriptures from 1880. Religious publications encouraged discussions and debates over religious issues. Print also connected people across the country. New forms of publication European novels were closer to the common man but Indian literates wanted a reflection of their own lives in what they read. Lyrics, short stories, essays were emerging as new forms of publications. At the close of 19th century, multiple copies of visual images could be printed easily. Painting of artists like Raja Ravi Verma could now be printed fast and circulated widely. Caricatures and cartoons criticizing imperial rule or ridiculing nationalists started appearing in journals and newspapers by 1870s. Women and Print Women are getting attention in the late 19th century literature. It increased the female readership, especially in the middle class. Women were now allowed to study through home-based schools or schools in their cities. Not everyone was liberal about women's education. Hindu conservatives feared that illiterate women could be widowed, orthodox Muslims thought Urdu romance literature could corrupt women. However, some women did dare to defy these dogmas. Hindi printing began seriously only from the 1870s, much later than Urdu, Tamil, Bengali and Marathi. Print and the Poor People Cheaper versions of books printed in the 19th century Madras made books accessible to the poor. Lending libraries became popular in towns and cities. The rich set up libraries as a status symbol. Jyotiba Phule in the 19th century and B.R. Ambedkar Maharashtra and E.V. Ramaswamy Naikar Madras in the 20th century, led protests and wrote articles with caste issues in spotlight. Following Bombay workers, the Bangalore cotton mill workers set up libraries to educate themselves in the 1930s. Print and Censorship By 1820s, the Calcutta Supreme Court curbed the freedom of press by passing certain regulations. The company encouraged publications that elogized British rule. But Thomas Macquillay, a liberal colonial official, restored the freedom enjoyed by the press earlier. In 1878, the Vernacular Press Act was passed as a sharp reaction to 1857 revolt. It let the government censor publications by the Vernacular Press and confiscate printing machinery. Yet, nationalist newspapers grew in numbers. Bal Gangadhar Tilak was imprisoned in 1908 for writing sympathetically about the Punjab revolutionaries. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. Hand printing was the earliest kind of printing technology. It was developed in China, Korea and Japan. Buddhist missionaries from China carried the technology of hand printing with them to Japan sometime around AD 768 to 770. Chinese paper reached Europe in the 11th century through the Silk Route. 
Italian explorer Marco Polo brought the technique of woodblock printing to Italy from China. Printing press reduced the cost of printing. Print facilitated circulation of ideas to masses and provided opportunities for debates and discussions. Printed literature included almanacs or rituals calendar, ballads and folk tales, books solely for entertainment or chapbooks, pocket-sized books sold for a penny by peddlers. Works of scientist Isaac Newton and those of thinkers like Thomas Paine, Voltaire and Jean Jacques Rousseau got a wider readership because of printing. By mid-18th century, books became symbols of progress and enlightenment. Print culture is said to have created conditions leading to French Revolution. A collection of fairy tales by Grimm's brothers was published in 1812. Traditionally, manuscripts in India were handwritten. They were copied on palm leaves or handmade paper in different languages. The Portuguese missionaries introduced printing press in the mid-16th century in Goa. In the early 19th century, social and religious reformers and orthodox Hindus often locked horns over social and religious issues. Women were allowed to study through home-based schools or schools in their cities in 19th century. Lyrics, short stories, essays emerged as new forms of publications in the 19th century.